Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Now, when we left off, uh, turns out that uh, I didn't have to work all that far. <laughs> turns out that in a recent patch to the game, they actually made the auto saves work again. So now they actually work the way that they are intended to work. Thank God. <laughs> So, with that in mind, I actually made a little change to the way I was going into the fight. This time I have Bastila actually giving us our auras ahead of time. And right now I am going to then set up Adrenal Strength. And then... There we go. Head into the door. Who dare, who and we're going to change up the we're going to change up the dialogue option a little bit in that regard. You Sith must be brought to judgment for all the blood you have spilled. You are a fool. This is a new age. Right. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. Says this you. Meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Good luck with that. Now I'm actually prepared. Uh, let's throw a grenade at you. Oh, shit. It didn't actually work the way I wanted it to. Shit. Um, okay, well. I'm gonna try. Okay. Okay, well, this is not good. Uh, oh, there we go. Now I'm actually getting some attempts in on him. Okay. Concussion grenade, maybe that'll help a little. Okay. There we go. Get an energy shield. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I managed to do it. Ready? Yes. Just not without also dying in the process. Terrace launch codes... Adrenaline Amplifier, Strength Gauntlets, and Neural Band. Okay. Well, I know what I'm wearing. Thank you. Good stuff. That'll help me. Regix has the... Regix gloves are on Karth. Adrenal Amplifier. Um, might as well put that on him. Regix belt and his armband are what I need for a couple bits of defense. Alright, I'm fully equipped as much as I can be. Nice. You've recovered the departure codes you need to escape Taurus. Now you just have to bring them back to Candra's Ordo in the Lower City Cantina. Absolutely. Also, I need heals bad. Oh my god. Whoops! That wasn't the one I wanted. It was close, but not the one I wanted. Damn it. I'm stupid. Alright, well. Might as well get what's in the strong boxes. Ooh. Durasteel bonding alloy. Spikes. Light battle armor, huh? What kind of. What kind of armor is that? Oh, it's medium. Huh. Providing solid protection for a minimal cost. This armor is in. Excellent for entrenched troops or guards. A force on the move, however, may find it somewhat constricting. And to be fair, this is actually pretty strong, as it is. Resistance to cold fire, and it has just as high defense bonus. Mm. Kind of loath to pass on to this, but, I mean, I don't really need the dexterity bonus. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Republic mod armor. Maybe if I mod this up. If I mod this up and I'll check on that. Check out how that works. Alright. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted the fucking light battle armor. There we go. Uh, don't have any armor for her. That sucks. Okay, the military suit. Um, but I 
already have equipped on him. Um, I don't what? know. It's weird how it looks different on me than it does on Karth. Wait. Wait a minute. Never mind. That's different armor entirely. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, that's dumb. Let me check. See, it looks the exact same. Never mind. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. I'm hitting the wrong buttons left and right. Don't listen to anything that comes out of my mouth because I'm usually wrong. All right. Um. Yeah, that'll work. Screw it. Is there anything in there? I didn't check, did I? I did. Okay. And what about this one? Did I check that? 500 credits. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Good money. Good stuff. Let's get out of here. Alright. What can I do? Okay, let's heal everyone up. There we go. Slightly better than where we were before. Okay. Let's get out of here. Get out of here once and for all. Just head out the door here and then I should be okay. Yay! Upper City South. Okay. Well, um, fuck. We, uh, we managed to get out of there. I'm here. And, uh, Karth is a little more damaged yes. than I'd like. In fact, I should probably just return to hideout. There we go. There we go. Transit back. Huh. <sighs> Considering how that last fight went, I should be relieved. But, uh, I kind of just want to get that last level, <laughs> that last level up over and done with, so I do not have to deal with that again. Because, fuck. <laughs> that was too much. That was way too much. Alright, so... <sighs> now we're in the cantina and we can possibly get out of here neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together now i know you're right Sith military base had a break in uh -huh. i know it was you i know you've yep. got those departure codes i need so you're we'll right see. We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. I mean, you make it sound so tempting to do it right now. But, uh... I need to double check if I've done everything. Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. Fair enough. Alright, so. Escaping Taurus... Infected outcasts, and that's it. I can't even complete that because the outcasts are gone. They've headed out to the uh, brand new uh, promised land for them. Karth and Bastila uh, have their own little side quest things. We'll eventually finish those up. Uh, mainly off the planet. And this is just getting us off the planet, so... We're good. I figured you'd be back. Now, yep. I know. Yep. What do you say? Yep. Uh, let's join up. But how are we going to get me into Davik's estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. Uh, I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say right. I brought you in so he could check you out. Quick lie. He'll have you stay all in right. his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. Background checks. Huh? We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. 
I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's taking yeah. you out, we yeah, still need the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. You've got a point. All right. Candorus has a special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Which is always a good thing to have. Um... Fuck, I don't know. I don't know who to bring along with me. He seems like he'd be ranged. <laughs> and he's also evil as all get out. Oh boy. All right. Um, I'd like to have someone who would at least tilt it a little in the light sides area for me. Um... I could bring Karth, but considering how much Bastila has been saving my ass lately, I kind of want to bring her. Alright. Let's go. Let's go! Ooh, cutscene. Foreboding ship in the distance. Out in space. Looks like night time. Everything looks like night time in space. Suddenly light across the ship. Don't know where the light came from, but hey. Big Betty. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Oh, joy. The entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Okay, sure. All right. Of course not, my lord. But, um... I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you... Well, at least the Admiral is showing, like, some... You are dismissed, Admiral. ...level of remorse over... This order. Yes, Lord Man. Well, um, we're doomed. <laughs> if we don't get off this rock, we're doomed. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. No, it Which never is. As an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the exchange might want to recruit. Hmm. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider of one For of the big special case. Race. Very impressive, hmm. as was your okay. display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Well, you know. Sometimes things pop up, you need to take out the swords, cut them a couple of motherfuckers. That's, you know, it's it's nothing. It's nothing. It's things you have to do to get by. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> it's because of the accent, probably, that he introduces himself to me with. That might, might be a bit of it. A bit of it. A bit of it. Just a little bit. A project had to learn that double crosses tend to end up dead. An important lesson to learn, no <laughs> doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. Mm. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy. Candor's kind of standing in the way of you there for uh, the camera. Uh, your offer intrigues me, Davik. 
I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. I kind of have to ham it up here. Ah, I kind of have to. The Ebonhawk, my pride and joy, the fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note huh. the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, I see. the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I, I am, gotcha. of course, okay. working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, well, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. Oh, so he hasn't caught wind of the fact that I got them yet. Okay, cool. These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay... I'm sorry, the, the what massage, quarters? Feel free to call upon their services. It the all goes well quarters? with a background check. You will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise C you to accept could we, the offer. Could we back up to, to suffer the where you said slave quarters? Um, what the fuck are you running here, bud? Want to run that by me again? Hmm? Buddy boy? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to enjoy killing you, Davik. I'm really going to enjoy killing you. Am I a prisoner here? We'll stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. Oh, I'm a guest. I will not accept no for an answer. I'm a guest that can't be telling them no. Stay. I must warn okay. you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will okay. return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Cal. I'm a Let us leave guest. guest in peace. Quote, unquote. Okay, all right. We're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Very true. Now we need to level you up, but... <laughs> you are evil. You are very evil. Okay. We might as well put that point in the treat injury. That's the only good one you got. Um, okay. Um, you are fully upgraded in heavy weapons. Good to know. Um, might as well put it into toughness here. There we go. Uh, still in the treat injury. There's no way to put it into anything else. Um, might as well put it into this proved rapid shot there we go um yeah that'll work that'll work for now um new items oh look at all the new stuff i have all that good stuff viper sword okay good good to know i'm good i'm good and we are ready to go uh, low security door. I'm assuming these are the guests that we were talking about. Standard door. Standard door. Huh. This is the little throne room where he makes himself feel like a big shot. Oh. Okay. Time to kill. Okay. I don't know why you're getting in so close, Kendo. Okay. Okay, we're working on it. There we go. That worked out. Ooh. I was hoping that the remains would pop up something. Computer pass card, cryoband grenade, and energy shield. Welp. Time to bust this down. Come on. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude. I am a personal guest. <laughs> How rude. Himself. Fuck you. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? 
I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. All right. Uh, Davik just wanted me to make sure you didn't need anything. Well, I suppose I can forgive the intrusion in this case. All right. Tell Davik right. I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. Yeah, with bashing like the door that. open. You can tell Davik everything about my stay has been most pleasing so far. Here's a five-credit chip for your trouble, sir. Thank you, now, sir. Now scurry on back to Davik. If I find I have need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect my privacy. Your privacy. Okay, fair enough. I'm just gonna take this. Ooh. 500. Ooh. Armor reinforcement. Advanced med packs. Oh, hell yeah. I'm getting the good stuff now. And he just doesn't care that I did that. Nice. Good for me. Oh, joy. What? Oh, boy. That, uh... That Davik runs quite a show here. What? I just got killed with fire? Okay. Alright. Wow, okay. Yes? Yes? Owie? Hudro? I don't know who you are. Uh... Yes? Oh, great. What? What? I have nothing to heal myself with. Yay. I'm not gonna waste yeah. that on him. If anything, I'm gonna use that myself. Oh, boy. That does a lot. All right. We're looking good now. Uh, can I... I cannot talk to him until I open this. Okay. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. Oh, I have an I idea. How much more I could take before going I got back. killed with fire. I have an idea. <laughs> Just a little bit of an idea. I'm assuming a lot of burning. Okay. Uh, I couldn't just sit by and let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. Do I you? used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk. Oh. Tavik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them okay. onto your data pad now. You Thank can you. use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Sounds like an idea. Um... Do you have any more info for me? Questions? Please. I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Okay. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. All right, you're free to go. long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Yeah, good luck, man. Good luck. You're We've got what need we it. came for. We should get going. True. We did get what we came for. There's also the fact that uh, we still need to get... Oh, hi there. All the guards are here. Super duper fun times are here again. Oh, joy. Oh, boy. Why am I, su Why am I kind of surprised that he picks Rodians for his guards? Because, I mean, they seem to be the fodder race when it comes to Star Wars guards that I can just plow through. And that sounds bad when I say it, because <laughs> it is, but still. Oh, I just realized that Bastil is dead. Oh no. Oh joy. Okay, well. Okay. I keep forgetting that she has an energy shield and I should make her use it more. Okay, this this guy's phasing out of existence every once in a while. But yeah, I have to I have to clarify what I meant by that. 
Every time there is guards to be killed, it's usually always Rodians. And I don't know why that is. It seems like Star Wars is just setting it up as... <laughs> setting it up as that is the fodder race to get killed just outright. Because it's not just this game that's done it. It's also done it in multiple other Star Wars games. And it makes me wonder if that's what they're trying to do. Or if there's just a lot of them and thus there is a higher population count of them doing these things because of some background thing I just don't know. Like they have a higher, uh, higher breeding count whenever they are, you know, doing that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're the to pull from another sci-fi series. Maybe they're the Krogans of this world. I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like there are so many Rodians that just get killed off in all the Star Wars franchise games that I don't know what to think about that. I might need to look into that. Anyway. If I find out anything, I will mention it in... Uh, well, I mean, the next episode I recorded this. Whoop. And there we go. Do another grenade. Okay, well. Okay, Bella, Bastila got in the way of that and died. Okay, well. This is not going as well as I had hoped. <laughs> uh, Bastila keeps dying left and right. It's fine. It's fine. First aid! Yay! Things I can use for me. And then it's just a fucking med pack. Oh, boy. What can I do? Um, heal yourself. Like, now. Because, jeez. Gee, bus. You were saving my ass earlier, and now you're just kind of getting knocked down all the time. I just find it funny I'm here. how things change. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got here. More credits. All right. Go down here. I think it should lead me to another path. Or back to where I was earlier. Huh. Kind of? It's the hangar bay. I'll need to find a computer panel to disable the security system. Okay, fair. Oh, hi there! Oh, gee. Oh, joy. Okay, well. Alrighty. Well, that's slightly working out. Okay. I'm here. Uh, I kind of need those right now, and I'm out. Okay. What? Good, 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 good. That's not a, it's not a bad thing at all to be out entirely of those. All right. I should probably swap her and put hers on. What can I do? There we go. Since we're the melee characters, I might as well do that. And a low security door. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, I'll call the guards. Kudu. The guards? Kudu, Slaves aren't allowed outside of the slave quarters. I can't let them see me here. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going... Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before... I'm I sorry, you're... Call the guards. Your date... She is here against her will. Why would you say date? <sighs> Sorry I wrecked your night. Uh, no need to call the guards, I just got lost. Uh -huh. No way, you're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards well, if you live long enough for them to question you. Unfortunate. Well, I'll just get rid of you. 
Okay, well, you're gone. Goodbye. Okay, well. Might as well go over to the Foot Locker while they're fighting off the other guards. Oh, parts and computer spike. Nice. Well. They sound like they handled it pretty easily. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. I'll just open a couple of these. Who are you? Why are you here? Get out or me call guards. Uh, sorry, wrong room. Get out, no bother me no more. Uh, I'm just gonna take this. Thank you. And you're not gonna freak out as I do that, and goodbye. Alright, let's bash this open. Eventually, we're gonna bash this open. There we are. Huh. Look at that. Oh, come on. This is pathetic. <laughs> it's taking me this long to open this locker. Come on. With how much effort I'm putting into this, it better be worth it. Because fuck. This is now approaching 15 seconds. Twenty. Okay. Twenty seconds in. I get a hair trigger and a Pazak card. Not worth it. Okay. This one's going a little faster. Okay, I spoke too soon. Five seconds. Okay, good. A data pad, credits, Pazak card, and a Pazak card. Okay. Let's see what's on the data pad. Uh, Kalonord's Trophy Kills, sentient and otherwise. Last entry is an account of a recent Rancor hunt. What the Rancor lacked in intelligence, it made up for in size, strength, and ferocity. Conventional blasters were all but useless against its impenetrable hide. Ooh, I'm kind of halfway burping through talking, so it makes it hard to speak. And I was forced to resort to more unorthodox methods to bring the beast down. Some well-placed mines near a watering hole were the first step, their explosions herding the creature into a dead-end canyon where I lay in wait, perched among the rocks. As soon as Rancor was below me, I dropped down onto its massive neck. It reared back, bucking and clawing in an effort to dislodge me, but I had the perfect position. Unable to shake me, the monster opened its mouth in an outraged howl, and I was able to flip several frag grenades down its gaping maw. The explosion blew me clear of the shredded corpse, but luckily the head was still intact. If I take it to Taurus, I'm sure Davik will mount it in his trophy room along with the other heads I have collected for him. Davik's also expressed interest in hiring me. I may take him up on this offer, even though I still have yet to claim the greatest hunting trophy of all. A pearl from one of the crate dragons on Tatooine. To be fair, they're a very, very valuable commodity, from the way I understand it. So I don't doubt that he wants it. <laughs> and uh, I don't blame him for wanting it, quite frankly. All right. Now you just have to get on the hangar and board the ship before it's too late. All right. Well. Uh. Let's see if... See what we got back here. Oh! Oh no! Can I tell you to go free? To the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent you speak basic. berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Um. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Shut up, Would Kando. You like a relaxing massage. Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Uh, uh, I don't have time for that kind of thing right now. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. No, you don't. No, you don't. I can't tell him to go free. 
Damn it. Okay, can I tell you to go free? <laughs> oh, shut up, like Candorus. Shut up. Uh, I need some but information. What could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Uh... Um, tell me what I want to know and I'll tell Davik how pleased I was with your performance. I'm sorry, Master, but the Shit. risk is too great. Davik will have me flayed alive if he finds out. Fair enough. Uh, I'll, I'll leave. I'll ask. Maybe I can get I some stuff out of her. Once more, Master. How may this Please stop calling me that. Please you. stop calling me that. This is so uncomfortable. But... Info, uh, please tell me something. I'm sorry, Master. Damn it. Okay. All right. I'm of getting course. out of here. Please, please stop. No, you're not. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, gods. I am so uncomfortable with all of that. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go back to the hangar. Oh, and there's a guard I missed. Okay, well, you're not going to survive for long. If I have my way about it, you're not going to survive for long. Okay. Well, get over to you. And you're gone. Oh, hi there. I missed you too, I guess. That's fine. I'll just beat on you a little bit. There we go. Well. There we go. Security terminal. Yeah, what do you want? Whoop. Uh, Your didn't choice. Want, didn't want to talk to you. Sorry, Kanda. Uh, use the access card. Uh, spice room. I already was in there. I'm sorry, what? I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use them for that. I am definitely not gonna use them for that. Okay, that was storage. Hangar. Uh spice lab, actual spice lab. Wait, what? Is there a thing I missed in there? I guess there might have been a thing I missed in there. Guest room. Oh, that was where that's where they held him. Oh, jeez. Um, well, I guess I gotta go to system commands. Uh, disable hangar security. And that's it. Now we can get out of here. Alright. But I have to go back to the uh, spice room. I guess. Yeah. Oh, I can... Maybe, uh, recover the mine. Okay, never mind. I tried. Yes. What? Uh, didn't work out. Okay, so. I can get into the hangar room now. But I need to go back to that spice room, wherever it was, to, uh... To get whatever item I uh, missed. If anything, I don't remember missing anything, though. It looked like it was at the far back, too. So it really baffles me that I missed anything. Okay, that's a hangar. Head over this way. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's right there, and I missed it. Eight credits. Okay. Well, we are, are set to leave, but we are quite a bit over time. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now. And uh, in the next episode, we'll make our daring escape. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and slowly and surely making our way through the shenanigans and uh, for once not dying constantly, uh, slightly. <laughs> There's been a couple deaths, uh, but we've been managing to avoid them now.
thus far for you.